And we're back for round two of tonight's little modern experiment. This hand is okay. We've got the Aether Vial. We've got a couple of creatures. We've got Muta Vaults. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. He leads with a Swamp. And we're going to go Sea Chrome Coast into Aether Vial. We could have led with Mutavolt so I could attack for two on turn two, but sometimes that's not the best play. It's kind of a little risky. And we are waiting on that to resolve. Wrench mine discards two cards unless he or she discards an artifact card. We'll discard Phantasmal Image and a Tectonic Edge. We will go ahead and cast our adept. We will show Master. And we got ourselves a Kira. Hi, Kira. He signed and bloods himself. Played his third land. And there goes my Silver Gill Adept. I'm going to make the Regery. <clears throat> we'll be able to either vial in a Lord or Master. I kind of want to keep him alive. I do want to use the ability. We'll go ahead and Sacrifice. I, I want to keep him alive because of his untap or tap ability. We'll sacrifice Lord of Atlantis. We're going to let this tick up to three. For Kira. Let's tap this right. I want to leave my blue mana up. And we'll just settle for getting in with 3 3. Duress will happen. It'll see uh, three creatures. In response, we'll go ahead and put the Kira into play. And we'll discard two Lords. Well, Masters of the Pearl Trident. They're different than Lord of Atlantis. No need to pump this up anymore. There's nothing that costs four in the deck. We'll make a curse catcher. And uh, we'll untap our sea chrome coast. We'll make our 2-2 two -two and our 3-3 three -three attack. He's 
got himself a lash right. Should be a 4 4. Which means my Muta Vaults probably aren't coming in for a little bit, but that is okay. And now I draw the spell pierce. Because why not? We'll go ahead and cast it. I mean... I was going to discard it anyways. No real need to cast the Aether Vial, except there is one. Uh, I don't have a second source of blue in play, so I'm going to let this tick up to two, and just in case. And something is happening. He still has a gatekeeper and a lash wrath, but they are dancing. They are just dancing. <laughs> okay, this one we do want to counter on. This one we do not. I don't know why that is happening. But it's weird. Just to make sure we're putting the counter on the right one. I think we can go ahead and kill him. We'll just activate both of our Muta Vaults. and attack with the team. No blockers, and I won the game. So we saw some discard, and we saw some gatekeepers, and some lash rites. Spreading seas, not very good in this matchup. We'll bring in the unified wills, so I should have more creatures than him, I would hope. And that's pretty much what I'm going to bring in. So Unified Wills in the third spell appears for the four Spreading Seas. This hand's okay. It's suddenly not okay. But there's still 28 creatures in the deck. So one would hope that I start drawing creatures instead of lands. This was a loose keep. If I hadn't drawn the Regery, I would have played the Marsh Flat so I could go get a Hollow Fountain. want him drawing extra cards. And I really want to cast the Regery, but I don't want him to get value from Gatekeeper. So I'll just attack him with my Muta Vault.
There we go, an unkicked gatekeeper. And a duress, which will show nothing. Now my mutable is going to attack for three. Ooh, a promo gatekeeper. We'll see my master die. I guess I could have, in theory, activated a Mutavault in response and let it kill a Mutavault. And make our Regery. And we'll make our Kira. Brave Titan. Neat. We're not going to block with the Regery because we're about to make him a 3-3. Three -three. A little bigger than a 3-3. Three -three. Can I win this turn? I don't think I can. Untap a Sea Chrome Coast. We could tap the Grave Titan. He's going to take six, lose two of his zombies. Of course, he's going to get to make two more whenever he attacks with the Grave Titan. He's got one card in hand. I'm at 13. Uh, this will put me at seven. He's got seven lands in play. I'm going to go ahead and block. Because if I don't block, the chances of him, I guess, having maybe a Corrupt could be there. We're going to tap one of his blockers. Activate the Mutavolts. And attack again. And he doesn't make any blocks, which I guess means he's giving up. And we won versus Mono Black control thingy. Let's go ahead and end this. Thanks again for watching this episode of Outside the Deck Box on PureMTGO.com and we'll be back for round three. Thanks.